Hey, Tiny Toy Tires here. I know you don't usually see me on YouTube, so I thought I'd do kind of a introduction video. If you're unfamiliar with my work, you can go over on Instagram, check out my page, same tagline, Tiny Toy Tires. And if you can say that ten times fast, I'll give you a shout out. Uh, let's see. Where do we go here? Dotson Man Diecast has been uh, hounding me. Just bombarding my DMs. Just every two hours I get a message asking when I'm going to make my next video. So without further ado, I figured I'd give you a quick introduction to my page. Uh, and just kind of show you around the collection. Uh, won't make it a long video. But... I'll make it a entertaining one as much as I can. Okay, let's check this out. All right, so let's start out with kind of the centerpiece of my collection. My first three cases, I got these and decided I wanted to completely fill them with Nissan, try and do my best to color coordinate them. As you can see, we got red, yellow, gray, white, purple, blue, orange, black, and then up here we got a little bit of green, and this purple kind of goes from purple to bluish purple back to purpley purple. That one's like maroon. It's kind of almost cheating, but hey, hey, working on it. It's always a work in progress with Hot Wheels. And then we'll just kind of peruse down here, open this case up. Uh, this was a case that my father had given me. You know, just uh, trying to do a well-rounded kind of look for everything. Go over here, just some different odds and ends, some random stuff. Old uh, Sentra manual that uh, I owned until I crashed it. Oh, well, it happens. Is a picture I made out of just leftover packaging, kind of. I guess you could say. Same thing here. That's the patch. Some more stuff. Nissan Datsun It's kind of my premiums. I kind of try and Kind of try and color coordinate kind of have somewhat of a theme going on Don't ask me what that is It's always changing but, um, Up there I got my team transports uh, Some of these I have doubles for some of these I do not see there um, boulevard set right there it's all open because it is in this case minus uh, you know there might be a few missing here and there because I have them in other places in my collection but uh, put the shelf together, some RLC and whatnot underneath there, but this shelf is kind of neat. Just got a hodgepodge of different, um, you know, different cars. My Mattel slash Hot Wheels corner. Got some Mercs going on here. Redline, Funny Money, some beautiful Datsuns. Just some gold action, another Baron, just some, you know, just a little bit of variety, but kind of keeping it with somewhat of a style. Like I said, that was all the Boulevard series as far as I had, with some super treasure hunts as placeholders. A little more, Ooh, that's nice. Some more stuff going on. Nice little display here of Moon Eyes cars. This 
is some Advan. This is kind of really the theme that started it all. Um, that's a chase there. That's the truck that goes with it. Super treasure hunt there. That's the uh, Japan Historics. I mean, I could talk, you know. Team Transport, Team Transport. That's a Johnny Lightning Street Heat. That's a RLC right there. That's another Johnny Lightning. You know. And we'll go down here. This is kind of my custom garage. Uh, and by custom garage, I mean just like not actual customs. Although this is a customs made by Cagney's Customs Garage. And that one's like the first one I ever did. Yeah, let's not, we're not going to look at that. Oh, that's another one. Yeah, we're not going to look at that. So it's a, like, and I guess that's a custom too. So, I mean, I guess there are some customs here. So, and these are some wheel swaps. And, yeah. I mean, that, I, that just kind of happened. I didn't really plan that. Um, anywho. This is just a, a Maisto um, cardboard display sets that I put together. I thought they were pretty cool. I got them at five below for, you guessed it, five dollars. And, uh... There's a few different ones that I have, but these are kind of like my favorite combination. So, there they are. Uh, we'll go down to the Falcon tire section here. Oh, focus, there we go. There's a super treasure hunt there. Some Maestos. Just an interesting variety. Um, it's really why I collect these. Because they look good in all the different colors. So, And here we go. We got some golf action. Ooh, I guess I brought the super out. This is the first super treasure hunt I ever found. Pretty cool. Another one right there. Just a bunch of golf cars. Found this... Uh, display here at a local flea market does a variety of things Goodbye. well that was fun and we'll go down here to uh, the Magnus Walker section here we go nice looking cars right there oh, that's a nice shot I like it focus to the front focus to the back right, now we'll switch over to this side Ooh, super treasure hunt right out front there and I do collect Chevelles so Get some of the nice guys going on here look at that that's kind of cool all right what do we got up front? This is an RLC piece, as you notice in the background. We got some autograph action. If we look up here, autographed RLC piece. Kinda one of my favorite pieces of my collection right there, for sure. And then I am a Bigfoot fanatic, so here we are, just that's a treasure hunt monster truck, another treasure hunt monster truck, another treasure hunt monster truck, I got the Barbie car too, but uh, let it hang out in my daughter's collection, <laughs> um, yeah, got some more, these are 124 cars, minus uh, these guys right here. Oh, she's adorable. Uh, this is kind of cool. Uh, has another side, but I'm not going to flip it over. This was a little kind of carrying case. Uh, not necessarily for keeping cars in it. Uh, unless you didn't care if they were loose and getting banged up. Because it's literally just kind of like a box. Uh, but I found that at a uh, vintage toy store. 
Uh, we get some white Nissans here. It's kind of a uh, neat little setup I have. Enjoy this one. I'm a Nissan fanboy, so you're gonna see a lot of those. Oh, go figure. Alright, uh, Laurel is one of my favorite cars here. It's my little, uh, Greddy themed shelf in its entirety. I also collect Nomads. There's a short little stack of them right there. Some gold cars, anniversary. Little small section of my pink cars. They're kind of scattered about. Um, oh yeah, I love space. Outer space is my jam, so how could I not have a space themed shelf? Uh, I am also a bone shaker fanatic, so kind of a quick little rundown of my bone shakers. So I'm missing right there just because I put them somewhere else. Um, oh, hi. How's it going? Got a couple of go karts here. I'm out a little, it's getting a little grainy. Okay, yeah, we like it. We like the go karts. Uh, we also like the El Caminos. Uh, we got some S10s and some Blazers. We got the Mercs, Bugattis, uh, a couple of Hall of Fame cars. Got my Golfs and a couple other sorted uh, VWs, some Toyotas. I would have to admit it, being a Nissan guy. <laughs> Some escorts over there. Um, oh, and yeah, I got a little Coca-Cola section. That's really nice. The hauler that goes with it. And then I get a really cool story about this piece right here, which uh, you know I will totally share, but on another video because I'm. Uh, I'm running out of time for keeping this a short video. I've already actually screwed that up. Ooh, that's a raw. 250. Yeah, like it. And this guy right here is pretty cool. And so, a little zoom out of that wall. Best I can. Got my Larry Wood. Cars right there. Uh, kind of sort of different sets over here. Good buddy of mine just gave me that poster, which uh, I love. That thing is awesome. I said I'd keep it short, but I've already failed that task. Um, but here we go. We got some Impalas. We have uh, more Impalas there, some American cars, we got Pinot's GT1, uh, we got these uh, tuner cars, the manga cars rather, uh, McLarens, nice little shelf of McLarens right there, or two I should say, uh, some random Nissans in between some BMWs and McLarens. Uh, but yeah, some BMWs. And up here, um, we just kind of have different assortments. I got my pizza cars. I got taxis. I got bumper cars. More taxis. Some Irox Z's, some other random Camaros. Um, yeah, just some other assorted pieces. Here's my uh, Nismo up front. Got the HKS in the back. Got the Coney 7 way, way back. And here we go. Keeping it moving. We got some Porsches over here. 
Yeah, we got some nice ones. There's more where that came from, but uh, just kind of an assorted uh, mix of Porsches over here. Got some Mitsubishi's over here. Anything from an Eclipse to an Evo to a now 3000 GT. Thank you for making that. Um, we'll go right up here. This is kind of a, a, a cool shelf in itself. Um, just kind of a mix of Nissans and Datsuns. That's really it. So, but it's a beautiful shelf. I will say that. Those aren't Nissans or Datsuns. All right, well, I kind of did what I wanted to accomplish, although I'm sure uh, even after editing this video, it's quite long. Um, I do have a large collection, what can I say? <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, uh, please help me grow my YouTube page uh, by hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe, drop, uh, you know, what you thought about the video in the comments. Um, feel free to send me a message in the DMs. Um, and I'd also appreciate, if you don't know me from Instagram, go over to Instagram and uh, check me out at Tiny Toy Tires. Um, until next time, I will... Uh, I will keep collecting diecast, and I hope you do the same. Tiny, out.